We stand for peace and joy. God displaces worry. Philippians 4, 6 to 7 says, Don't worry about anything, but in everything, through prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Today, unlike any other time in history, you can worry about What's going on in America, Ukraine, Tonga, Israel, Philippines, you name it, and the worry and anxiety is always there. But through the Holy Spirit, Paul gives us the Lord's counsel for worry and anxiety in the verses that I have just read. My friends, anxiety can overwhelm us so much that when you hear the command, don't worry, don't be anxious, you say, yeah, right. No way I could get over this, but you can, my friends. Whether it's social anxiety, anxiety over some aspect of the future, whatever it is, you can get to the point where you are not anxious. We have too many ifs in life that are unnecessary. What if it does not train? Or what if they make fun of me? As simple as that. What if, what if, so many ifs. What is it for you today, my friend? What are your ifs that gives you worry? All those worries is so debilitating, right? Then you read, be anxious for nothing. Really? I want it. How do I get it? The word would translate these verses like this today. In everything, by mind control and chamomile tea, with medication, let your worries be made known to your psychiatrist then you'll have peace. But do you know what, my friend? God's answer and antidote to anxiety is this, the practice of proper praying. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, let your request be made known before God. And the promise is this, verse 7, the peace of God will guard your hearts. You say, prayer really? That's the answer? Seems so easy. Oh yes, that's right. We'll, well, Show me a man or a woman of prayer who has been practicing proper prayer and I'll show you someone who has at least fairly low anxiety levels. It's because of proper praying. You know, the practice of proper praying and anxiety go together like water and fire. Water puts the fire out like the practice of proper Prayer puts out the fires of anxiety. Let's learn to turn your, your anxious thoughts into proper prayers and you'll experience God's peace instead of anxiety and worry. Naturally though, just because you pray properly doesn't mean that everything in your life is going to be all better. But you, you can get through the difficult times without anxiety or worry. That is why you notice that our text doesn't say, just pray about it. But no, you and I must practice proper prayer to get over anxiety. It takes practice. You cannot expect to be good at someone overnight. If one day you set your heart to practice playing hockey, for example, you are not necessarily in the NHL after the first practice session, right? Once you set your mind to proper prayer, you are not necessarily going to be instantly get rid of your anxiety. But keep at it, keep doing it, keep praying, it will come. And no, don't quit. Keep on practicing prayer, praying, and as you do, the anxiety will melt away. And as I end, we could translate this verse as simple as this. In everything, by prayer and prayer, with prayer, let your prayers be made known to God always. God bless.